Hi, Jolly Jules Cruise Companion. Today I am in my cruise scarf and I have a lovely view in the background. And today I'm doing something a little bit different as I get on to Carnival Luminosa in March of 2023. So yesterday as I was packing my bags to come on Carnival Luminosa, I cleaned out my purse because I needed to um, find my passport. My passport is always in my purse, ironically enough. And I cleaned out about five or six different parking vouchers and that, or parking receipts and they were for Wilson's, um, they were for um, the airport, BAP and Brisbane Airport Parking, um, Andrews Airport Parking and Portside Parking. But today I managed to get a park in the Wilson's. Yes, I'm in Wilson's 3, <laughs> but there, um, I bought this one online. You can roll up to this one and see if on the day you run the risk, but number two and number one you've got to book online. Next week when I come back onto um, P&O Pacific Encounter, I'm in here, so I will actually drop my passenger off with the luggage and then drive back and walk by myself. And then the next time, which is in May, could be the next time, could be anything. Um, I've booked for one, because I booked that three months out, the minute that became available. So the journey down from the Sunshine Coast wasn't too bad. It's a very overcast day and on a Sunday. And as I say, traffic wasn't too bad. There is, of course, roadworks, but they're not active. So the transit through them was quite brisk. Finding the location, what I did do wrong is I didn't set a GPS, I didn't set the Google map. And so I came via the um, airport. I should have come off the junction before that, I think it's Southern Cross way um, and come that way but it was no big deal. Once I orientated myself to where I was, I got here without an issue and getting into the car park, I just had to use the credit card on the swipe that I used for check-in. I've um, uploaded another couple of videos about how to get to the Brisbane International Cruise Terminal. And of course, public transport, it's not really an option. You could get to the airport and um, catch an Uber or a taxi from there. You have the share and ride services from, the, can pick you up at your home, like connections or those type of ones. I did see a stretch limo today. That would be an absolute wonderful way of getting here, especially if it's a large group of adults, for example, a hen's night, a birthday, etc. You have the park and ride services like Andrews and um, Portside and some of the others. You could have friends and relatives drop you off or if you could find a hotel accommodation, for example, if you're flying in the day before, that could drop you off within the fee. That would be great as well. But today I managed to get to Wilson's and so hopefully that's going to be a great experience and the car will be intact when I come back in a week's time. I've taken a photograph of it for my evidence. So this is my Wilson's parking experience so far. I'll do an add-on to it if it um, particularly becomes pear-shaped at any time in the future. There are, they are, um, I'm going to go to 12 o'clock check-in, so it's just about 11.30. So um, they're calling for priority boarding, um, 11, 11.30s and something else. So I just have to wait a little bit before it's my turn to get on kind of a Luminosa for a seven, nine to th seven nights to the Pacific Islands. This is Julie Jules Cruise Companion saying stay safe everybody and happy travels. <laughs>